Ponskupi, everyone. We're back with Klonoa 2. Um, yeah, this game had a weird emulation issue, which is why it looks a bit weird whenever it changes screens. Oh, you Once reported that's on your PS3, then. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I recall some games have a, a bit of a, a quirky uh, visual problems when uh, playing on the PS3, and I'm guessing Klonoa 2 is just one of those. Yeah, it only it, it didn't bother me too much because it only happens when it changes screens and it only lasted for about about half a second. So I figured it was all right. Hey, was that the green flash on my screen? Yeah. 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 Okay, I thought that was just my video screwing up. <laughs> no. I okay. think I, I was doing some research into this game earlier, and I think what really finds what really so odd for me and for Kanoa too specifically is like, all right, the subtitle for this game is Lunatea's or Lunatees. Lunatea's Lunatea's Veil or Veal. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, but, uh, gonna take his dinner of meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that meat. Then he finds out it's not really there. <laughs> not again! <laughs> uh, the subtitle for this in Japan, well, the game is in Japan, it, like a literal translation is, Klonoa of the Wind 2, the thing that the world wants to forget. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the subtitle for this game in Japan. Okay, um, Japan, I'm just gonna say it right now, has way better subtitles than the U.S. <laughs> like, I mean, way better subtitles than the U.S. Like, okay... I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. No, right no, now. okay, so, um, alright, so, uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, what it was, but in, um... Uh, I think one of the Ratchet and Clank games, which, you know, has, uh, which is, um, you know, just has great subtitles in the U.S. in general, uh, but I, I can't remember which one specifically it was, but, like, one of them is Go Correct Galactic Rangers, bam, 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 or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Japan just gets better subtitles than we do. I don't know why. I, I, I tell you, you know what you really tend to notice that? Uh, like, episode names for, like, anime. Yeah. Like, in Japan, they're, like, a paragraph. <laughs> and, like, when they translate it to America, it's usually, like, just one line. I think, like, Dragon Ball Z is the one. Frieza defeated. <laughs> Frieza defeated. And, like, well, I'm, seeing, I'm trying to look for that, 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 that actual episode. Like, no, I'm just, like, Yamcha dies. Yeah, okay. Um, what else is new? Wait, there's yeah, an episode uh, called y Yamcha dies? It's, like, Yamcha's sacrifice or something like that. Uh, well, it's not so much like a sacrifice, more like a... He screwed, yeah, yeah, he, he screwed up. Yeah, he screwed up. up. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't really see it, but, uh... The, yeah, but the, the point is... Oh, wait, here it is. Wait, here it is, here it is. Where is it? Where is it? The structure plan now? Good lord, Dynamic Saga is so fucking long. <laughs> it's still shorter than Boo. Yeah, yeah true, true. The, um, the thing with uh, titles and subtitles in Japan is when they aren't being, you know, like, really super action-y sounding... By trying to be a by trying to be an advertisement rather than a title, um, a lot of them will sound better in Japanese than they do in English. Unless, of course, they're English titles, in which case there's no excuse. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, it, like in, in the Japanese dialect, then it sounds absolutely fine. It's like when you literally translate them to English, it sounds very elaborate and long. Like, uh, here we go. Freeze it, defeated. A single blast packed with the totality of rage. Otherwise known as Mighty Blast of Rage in America. <laughs> Wait, is that the, the one with the spirit bomb or no? I don't know. There's like seven, 19 episodes with like Goku fighting Frieza. Mm. Longest five minutes ever. So is she supposed to be like a monkey or something? Um, she's Sarah from the Sonic OVA. Ah, so she has a tail for no reason. Yeah. Well, she doesn't look exactly human either, because she's got no nose, and she's got sort of an animal-shaped head. So really I'm not really wide sure ears. what she is. She's a thingamajig, sort of like Klonoa, I guess, except a different breed of thingamajig that probably can't mate with them. So get your parrots out of here, please. This thingamajig and this thingamajig can totally not relate. But Okay, but is there a reason why she had to stop and do her rosary for a moment? <laughs> um... Plot dump. Well, she, she's tired. No, she she kneeled down to pray, and she is a priestess, so you know. Watching Klonoa jump all over the place is so exhausting. Ah, yeah, totally. Like, <laughs> you have to just sort of sit there and 
stuff. <laughs> I, I will say, when, I, when it comes to 2.5D things, there is one thing about Klonoa 2 that I do like, and that's the way that the camera is, is, is moving around the entire time, rather than simply scrolling to the left or right. Well, one thing about having a 2.5D game, as opposed to a sprite-based 2.5 game, um, well, I should just say, just based to, to a normal game, because... Well, actually, yeah, compared to a sprite game, because when you if you've got a sprite game, you really can't have uh, like the these kind of twisty, turny, labyrinthy kind of level layouts, or at least not as gracefully. And as opposed to a full 3D game, you can have a lot more background finesse as opposed to some other you, stuff. You can't have perspective in pure 2D. All you have are layers, and that's as much as you're going to get with it. Uh, 2.5D, you can see things from slightly different angles, so. It makes it feel a little more alive. Yeah, like this background here with like the mushrooms and whatever the hell that thing is in the background looks pretty cool. I will say that. Um, uh, what are the, the the picture things that we're collecting do? Uh, they're collectibles. Do they do a thing or? No? Uh, they're your no. daily challenge in Sonic Dash. <laughs> See, they give you. They, oh, wait, they no, they, you, I like, think they I think they unlock sound. I think they unlock sounds in the sound menu. Oh. Well, well, that's not quite as funny. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, put on that joke. Uh, I have been playing Sonic Dash for a while. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't played Runners yet. Uh, they don't have a Windows 8 version of that. Oh, you're, you're using what, a Bluestacks or something like that? or? Uh, no, there's a Windows 8 version of Sonic Dash. It's just a Windows 8 app that you can get for free on the Windows 8 store. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, well, the the operating system was originally devised for mobile phones, so... <laughs> How long have you been playing Kamala 2, Ryan? Uh, this is my second playthrough. Oh. That long, huh? <laughs> well, I didn't own the game until the guy gave it to me. <laughs> thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Whoever it's you not, are. It's not, like it's, a, it's not like it's a bad game. Yeah, it's just sort of a, a dated game, and that's fine. Well, not every game's gonna age like a fine wine. Most of them are gonna age like, like, like cheese. No, like milk that's slightly past the expiration date. Like you know, you probably shouldn't drink it, but it won't kill you if you do. <laughs> you probably get a bitching stomach cramp though. So it just stays perpetually a little past the expiration date for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Tell me your secrets. Man. Well, after you, after it gets a certain amount of late, it's not gonna get any worse. <laughs> You know. uh, it, it's kind of like if someone wished for eternal youth uh, when they were just a little too old to enjoy it, so they just stayed perpetually... Uh, 85. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, uh, we have ourselves a high priestess or an age priestess. I assume age stands for high. She looks high. Uh... <laughs> I'm I'm suddenly the, these characters' ears suddenly really make me want to play Super Monkey Ball. Now you know what they want make me want to play uh, the remake of uh, Mickey Mouse and the uh, Castle of Illusion. I think it's Castle of Illusion. Oh, so do we get a new superpower now? Nope. She won't get one. She oh. gets a feather in her. Oh cap. shit! <laughs> this ceremonial feather marks you as a true hero. Now go. <laughs> now you're gonna jump out a window. Hey, this isn't a that feather. Out. This is a leaf. You cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's great priestess, but uh, I could really use some funds so I can buy healing potions and go forth, hero! <laughs> Don't you just want to give me the best equipment right off the bat? No, oh, look at that we'll this... oh, look... No. Would you look at my watch? It's time for Matlock. No, we won't give you the best equipment and the awesome sword we have in the vault, but we'll name this bridge after you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my favorite example of that is actually Shining Force 1, where they give you 100 gold coins at the beginning of the game, and 100 gold coins turns out to be enough to buy, like, a dagger and four healing herbs for your five-man party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could I have the shirt? <laughs> so this character here is just pretty much giving us our mission objective. Didn't yep. we already hear this for before from the weird blue guy? Yep. Yeah, but the weird blue guy was an age priestess. God. Yeah, you can tell she's aged by the fact that she doesn't have blush on her cheeks, uh, because that means you're old, because you can't blush, I think. And you have uh, wisdom if your eyes are not completely open. 
Hey, I'm just gonna revert to the high priestess explanation. Yeah, I understand that, but usually, just like character <laughs> design traits, usually, you know, you're like, open your fucking eyes. Are you squinting? And, what are you, not, what, are you and, farsighted? Oh yeah, and Clano, you're an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, though. I'm from Colorado. Oh, wait, so hold on. Is this one of those games where we're not really the important character, we're just kind of the important character's bodyguard? We're a pack mule. Uh, yeah. We are, Titus! Ah! No! <laughs> wait, you're already in your old save that. data. No, Ryan, don't do it. No! What if it, something it, it, goes short, wrong? It's a short platform. I can always just re-record it. Is this one of those games where you only have three save files? Yep. God damn it. I well, hate when games well, no, do that. Well, no, no, you have three you have three folders, but then you have three files within the folder. Uh, oh, that's so so nine. So nine you know, it, 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 it still stands. I hate when games limit the number of saves you're allowed to have, and it doesn't have the excuse of being like on a cartridge and in, in a in a in a Game Boy or something. Well, no, it's the, like, it's, it's worse when there's only one save file. Pokemon. Uh, like, I can understand for, like, a platformer only having three save files, because these are the kind of games where, you know, like, two people in the same house might be playing it at the same time, or something like that. Like, yeah. now that I do, like, a uh, video game, like, uh, I don't know if we technically count these as LPs, but whatever, but the most convenient types of games to do are the ones that have, like, 99 save files, so you can just make each new recording session a save file, and if anything ever goes back, you can just go back to the last time you... Uh, to the point where you saved it, and you don't have to like replay the whole game, and that's that's well, awesome. Well, yeah, well, well, this is my point. We're 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 saving games to these huge ass internal hard drives now. We don't need to limit the number of save files there are in the game anymore. It's like even even on the 3DS, there's no excuse. You know what po what Persona Q does? You have three save files on the cart, and then you can save as many times as you fucking want to your SD card. That's yep. the way it should be. Sounds about right. Wait, hold on. Is the is the black person the the bad guy? Yep. Thinly veiled racism. <laughs> well, now, well, now. Well, it's not. It, you'll find out later, but it's not racism. Oh. Okay. Well, there aren't like. He's just being a jerk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still. It's just I think about it. I just think about Zelda and just like, okay, we've got one black dude in this entire universe. Let's make him the king of evil. Okay, that doesn't have any in unfortunate uh, implications at all. <laughs> Actually, the Gerudos are more like. Are a lot closer to like uh, Middle Eastern than Black, when I think about it. Oh. And to be perfectly fair, at the uh, expense of grabbing, reaching for straws here, <laughs> Ganondorf is, I think, green. <laughs> Depending on the game, true. <laughs> but Depending still, on the game. Still, I don't like them green people. Think about all the, think about all the, 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 uh, the depictions of green people in the in popular media, though, John. Like Wicked Martian Witch of the West. Hunter, hey, look, Gale. hey, look, Go, look, Gazoo had it coming. <laughs> yeah, Gazoo, Gazoo is kind of an asshole. <laughs> Martian Manhunter, Piccolo. Oh no, I like Jonathan Jones. <laughs> no, I'm saying that they're, they're good guys. They're all the the stoic uh, the stoic good guys that just sort of sit there with their arms crossed, being. P Piccolo tried to kind of destroy the world. If you forget. Yeah, but he's also a better father than fucking Goku. Well, no, King Piccolo did, but not the the, the same Piccolo that people talk about when they say Piccolo. He just sort of tried to beat Goku and then went away somewhere. It was like, okay, he tried to beat Goku at a tournament, he grew to a massive size for some reason and wreaked a little havoc in a very localized area, and then he went and meditated someplace. Ooh, uh, evil. I'm meditating, character. that's not meditating, that's sleeping, I know the difference. <laughs> it's like, you know, Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z never really got a chance to be evil, he was just sort of an asshole for a little while. And then he became less of an asshole. The sky pirate by Leo Arena, a character design that I can't tell is either masculine or feminine, so I shall call it a female. It's a girl. Oh, okay. I know it's like the only dude in this game. <laughs> Where are the dudes at, bruh? Huh. Wait, not even a. Well, I guess. Was it Popka or Popska or whatever? He's the pet. Ponska He's the pet. Pon <laughs> <laughs> Your name's stupid. We're Popska not getting now. any Cheech Koopas because Hupo's not in the game, right? Yeah. Yep. It's like, aww. But then, then it, was, it wasn't even her that said that. It was the tribesmen that said that. Yeah. Well, then... Yep. It, whatever. 
So yeah, for ringing the bells, we get a little marble. Hooray. <laughs> Considering Klonoa 2 is on the PlayStation 2, the Pac-Man symbol on his hat has no reason to be that polygonal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, well, it's maybe just a style that way. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe he's Every... specifically referring to the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. that game. Well, what? Every... Okay, okay, I've got a question. What made that version such a horrible version of Pac-Man? Do you see the sprite flickering in that game? Uh, I've never seen an Atari 2600 in the wild, so... Yeah, just, just look up footage of it on YouTube. You could, like, the sprite flickering in that game is obnoxious. Yeah. And it's uh... slow as shit. Yeah. The Atari 2600 couldn't quite match the um, uh, the arcade editions of the game, and I, I know this because I used to have an Atari 2600, yeah. my dad did. Uh, <laughs> well, how dare you? <laughs> okay, I played so Pac-Man, I... I played a Spider-Man game. Oh god, that was terrible. Uh, <laughs> Everything on the Atari 2600 was kind of terrible, to be honest. Well, there's some stuff. I hear, I hear good things about Pitfall. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that the Space Invaders wasn't that bad. Yeah. In, in any case, uh, about the Pac-Man on his hat, everything in this game is sort of angular. Uh, so it was a deliberate style choice, I'm betting. Most likely. So what's like the deal with Lolo here? I mean, is she just constantly tired through the entire adventure, or is that just like her normal face? Uh, well, I don't know. If you were a magic ring, would you be happy? But because I saw that she was switching between two emotions momentarily, like, uh, like a cutscene ago, where she was tired, and then she went to more tired. And by that, I mean, like, her eyes just lowered. Like, that's yeah, it. You know, that's it's, it. You know what it is? It's not supposed to be tired. It's supposed to be cute and feminine. Except the eyes are too damn big. Uh, there's not there's nothing else on her face to emote with except her mouth. Oh, see, so she's doing sassy there because she. You got the forward. sassy, but her eyes didn't change. Yeah, there's nothing else on the face to emote with except the mouth. And if you can't see the mouth, like say if there's a magical talking doll whose ears are big enough to cover it from a different ca from a certain camera perspective, you're not going to see anything except tired eyes. <laughs> um. Okay. So does that guy end up being the bad guy? Maybe. All this and more. Next part. <laughs> what we need to do is like give the the next episode title like one of those Japanese paragraph episode titles. I'm counting on you, Ryan. What this part or next part? Next part. Okay. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. <laughs>